this might be the most unpopular article I've ever read. Unscribe to all your YouTube channels and delete your YouTube app. It's ruining your golf. So I think it's safe to say, plugged in golf aren't going to be on the Christmas card list of Mark Crossfield or Rick Shields. However, I think they do raise an important debate upon are you practicing using tips that you found online or is it from instruction from a golf pro based on your game from the game and the swing that they've seen and they've diagnosed your flaws and they've given you drills to work on so i suppose the article really is leveled at any golf pro that's currently putting instruction on youtube and if you read the article I can only imagine if you were one of those YouTube pros, it's got to be a bit of a tough read. I, and I don't necessarily know if I agree with it really. I think I know what they're getting at. I think what they're saying is, is that when you get to a certain level, you go onto YouTube, you go down the rabbit hole, and you think, oh, I'm missing my ball left, I need to get rid of my duck hook. And then you literally research every single thing that could be to do with a duck hook. And that's without a pro or anybody that's qualified, say, looking at your swing and you're just doing self-diagnosis. So from that point of view, I totally understand what the article's trying to say. I think it's a little bit harsh <laughs> saying that you should unsubscribe to these channels and delete the app. <laughs> it's going a little bit too far. Let's be honest, going onto YouTube is such a powerful resource. You can go on there for your entertainment, for say have your fun you can also go on there to experiment with your golf can't you and sometimes i've gone on there to get myself out of the situation where i'm doing something that i've completely forgot for instance sometimes i start hitting the ball a bit thin with the driver and then i start hitting it a little bit heavy with the wedges and i think what why am i doing that why am i doing that so sometimes I've gone onto, I have gone online and just thought, well, what constitutes the good fundamentals for the driver, for the irons? And then you go, oh, that's what I've been doing. I've been moving off the ball, haven't I? At which point you go to the range, you, you work on those two thoughts. So staying over the ball and not moving off the ball, not swaying, not having a double pivot. And guess what? <laughs> Your golf game improves. I think the issue becomes if you're trying to be your own coach and you're trying to improve yourself. And this video isn't just leveled at those top YouTube guys of Rick Shields and Mark Crossfield and Chris Ryan and all those guys. Those instructional videos are really clear, depending on what you want. If you're new to golf and you don't really understand much about the golf game, Rick Shields is your man. He's delivering his content in a simple, clear, easy way to understand. If you're a 14 handicapper and below, you're probably not going to tap into Rick Shields' videos on instruction. If you're a more an advanced golfer and want to understand about the golf swing a little bit more, you're probably more likely to say, look at Chris Ryan and Mark Crossfield who get into a bit more in depth about swing path, club face, launch angles, all those kind of things. So if you are hitting up the old YouTube for video instruction, how successful have you been? Has it been worthwhile doing? And, or, do you have any regrets? Do you regret going onto that video, trying to change your swing, and now you've just got a world of trouble and you can't even strike the ball correctly? We're quite interested to know. I thought it was a really interesting article that had been pushed out. It's only, say, come out this evening. For me, I think it's a bit of balance. I have used YouTube videos in the past, as I've said, but, just to make sure I've got my fundamentals correctly. If I was doing any wholesale big changes, I think you are better off going with a golf coach. Let me know what you think, guys. Drop down in the comment below. I'll see you around soon.